all right what's going on guys it's rest and in this video i want to talk about the vex mythic class if you don't know the vex is it's just an absolutely insane weapon now in the game it started off when it first came out as being just kind of a meme obviously in destiny 1 it was like pretty good but then destiny 2 came out with vault of glass and it was like really really bad but they ended up buffing it by a huge amount the buff that it actually received they drastically increased the range stat they gave it 40 percent more damage they upped the rounds per minute of it the linear fusion rifle mode charges faster now overall it's just insane and on top of that it also got unlimited ammo due to the fact that it is a primary weapon and in my opinion it is overall one of the best guns in the game now for pve and on top of that you also have mods this season that are heavily focused around fusion rifles which is really really crazy this build is specifically based around the vex itself and it's not really based around like uh the subclass that you're using you can run this on any character and that's why i want to get this video out there i i do run mine with like dawn chorus and bottom skill tree dawn blade because i really really do enjoy the subclass now and you can't expect to see a build based around bottom skill tree dawn blade for sure in the future but this is based all around vex again you can run this on hunter titan or like any subclass you want to and it will still do fine the vex is just that good i actually think making a build completely around it is actually a rational thing to do and can absolutely destroy in pve so for weapons obviously the vex is going to be the main thing and also if you can get the catalyst because they also did buff that as well to increase the damage when you get stacks of overchargers which is really really good um power weapon definitely any linear fusion rifle that you can get a uh, threaded needle is obviously probably being your best option but this is going to be really really good for ball scene and with this build you're going to be able to destroy like red bar enemies with a couple shots orange bar enemies like majors and stuff literally just it's extremely easy as if it was a special weapon and if it ever is tankier you literally can make it into a special weapon to kill the tankier ones and but then for you know primary you can just run whatever i have an ignition code right here uh, this is really good for ball scene uh, with the role I have, but I would recommend getting a blinding grenade launcher one uh, just for utility because you don't ever really need it due to the fact you're going to be mainly just running Vex and Threaded Needle the entire time. Uh, the amount of times I've actually ever swapped to my uh, grenade launcher up here is literally slim to none because like I said, the Vex can almost do anything and then the Threaded Needle is just there for you know bigger balls and stuff. Now to make the playstyle of just using Vex and Threaded Needle, uh, obviously we're going to be taking the brand new mod uh, Particle Destruction and this is dealing damage to combatant with the Fusion Rifle or Linear Fusion Rifle grants a bonus damage with the Fusion Rifle or Linear Fusion Rifle against that combatant for a short duration. This affects stacks up to five times. That was a lot of words but essentially the way this is you can essentially just shoot with the fusion rifle it's going to put a debuff on them it gets up to like 40 percent uh extra damage and then you can swap to something like the threaded needle and just go to town on them and since the vex is technically a fusion rifle it does shoot single shot out you're going to very easily apply this debuff just one two three four five you have it then you can swap to threaded needle and you could do max damage and it's going to keep your proc in it since it is a linear fusion rifle and you're getting that 40 percent damage increase which is really really good and you can start to melt enemies and that is all from just that one mod and that one mod alone is the new breach of clear of the game it is insanely broken and definitely definitely recommend unlocking it once you get the chance to now other mods to make this work we're going to be focusing really heavily on charger light uh elemental wells could also work but for this one specifically i'm doing charger light so i have taken charge right here so whenever i pick an orb up you can become charger light obviously if you have the masterwork version it can produce orbs which is really really good but i'm also going to be running quick charge right here so become charger light uh, by rapidly defeating combatants with fusion rifles or shotguns and then also if you run an arc mod or another charger light mod you're going to get the benefit greatly increases the ready speed of fusion rifle shotgun submachine guns and swords you don't need the second part I just like to have it, so I threw on a arc mod right here. It calls damage grenade, reduces melee cooldown. But I, I like that part because you know you can swap to really quick. It just makes the handling of Vex even better. And that is essentially why I'm running that. I also have the seasonal mod of fusion loader, so you can reload it faster. And if you want to tinker with some of these mods and move them around, you can get points to run things like unstoppable fusion rifle, which can also be really, really good, especially if you're doing like grandmaster level stuff. And then also just have a discipline mod to round stats out. Now I have two charger light mods. And for one reason, I'm obviously going to be running protective light, you know, just in case something hits me and I go red bar, you know, this can just make you super, super tanky. But I do have like linear fusion reserves, which is good because of damp, I had a point left over and recovery just to, you know, try to boost my recovery up as much. Linear fusion is going to be good because obviously, you know, you want as much ammo for this as you can. And you can almost honestly kind of start using it to a point where you can just snipe things with it. Literally, I was running through a strike just using this to snipe heavier targets. And then I was just using the Vex for everything else. But the main thing is we're also going to be running high energy fire. So while Charger Light gain a bonus weapon damage, each defeated combatant consumes one sack of Charger Light. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, if you're going to you know, use high energy fire, it's going to obviously consume that Charger Light. That's why I'm running a quick charge and taking charge so I can keep Charger Light up as much as possible. And since you are getting multi-kills with a fusion rifle all the time, 
you are always going to have high energy fire and it's essentially just another rampage that stacked onto the gun which is really really cool and this is where i was saying if you want to run something like elemental wells you can if you want to take something like font might so when you pick up a well that uh matches your subclass you're going to get that damage bonus and if you run something like elemental armaments you just it's going to force you to run a solar subclass because obviously you have to match the subclass of the gun uh so you can spawn the wells with the gun but if you want to run those two those that'll also work but i think high energy fire is just a little bit easier and it's super super easy to keep a charge of light sacks up again due to the fact that this is a fusion rifle it, and it's also producing orbs so between quick charge and taking charge you're always going to be charged your life another thing is ammo finders actually kind of matter i have grenade launcher and linear fusion if you want to run double linear you can or if you obviously want to take some other model here to buff your stats uh this is going to be really really good i honestly probably would recommend running double linear if you do have access to it if you don't know they actually did change that primary weapons will spawn uh ammo finders more now and if you run an exotic primary aka the vex with the class it has an even higher chance so you're going to be spawning a ton of linear fusion rifle ammo for your threaded needle again so you can kind of just snipe things freely you're going to have ammo for ball scene and you don't ever really have to worry about ammo for your heavy weapon and also a seasonal mod that i'm going to be running is fusion scavenger so you get more fusion and linear fusion ammo when you pick up a brick of ammo obviously you're running a fusion and linear fusion so this is really really good also things like recuperation is also really good since you're gonna be generating a lot of orbs you can just keep your health up and then i have charged up right here so this is just gonna allow for additional stack of charge or light so now you get up three stacks and you're gonna always be hovering around one two three constantly because obviously with high energy fire you're gonna kill enemies if you ever get weak protective light we'll obviously use the one but due to the fact with taking charge and quick charge like i was saying you're gonna pretty much always be charged light at all times having insane damage output with a primary weapon but you're also going to be very very tanky with things like protective light and overall this build is insanely fun it is really really good if you literally just want to main the vex smith the class this season this is 100 the build i would recommend going it's probably one of the best builds you can run for it and it allows you to literally just use two weapons and you don't ever even have to worry about your third one and not only that this build can also work in pvp as well kind of so with quick charge since your fusion rifle is just getting primary kills if you can stack some kills up really really fast with the overcharge perk itself uh in pvp kind of being absurd already you can get some insane damage out of this thing. And I highly, highly recommend trying this out. If you don't have Vex, definitely go Fallen 4. If you have it, don't have the Catalyst, definitely go get it. Because the way they changed it, it literally completely changed the game. And it is 100% went from absolute garbage to nothing, 0 to 100, whatever you want to say. And it is overall one of the most fun weapons to use in the game right now. But anyway, that's what it for me. Let me know if you guys would change anything around. You know, if you'd like other certain mods that might work well with it. This is just what I've been using for a little while now. And absolutely tearing everything up in the game with it. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you did enjoy, consider subscribing and dropping a like. It really helps me out and our community grow by getting these videos out there for everyone to see. I truly appreciate it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.